Hi everyone and uh, welcome back and welcome to my new video on the Nest.js and here we are going to talk about the reactivity in the Nest.js okay so I took some screenshot from the JS Congress uh, conference and those uh, presentation were from Kamil uh, the founder of the Nest.js so I will also provide uh, the reference link of that talk so you can actually get the, the overall picture what I am talking here so my focus will be mainly on the CQRS side, how Nest.js is making it possible to have the CQRS pattern with the Nest.js code. Okay, so till now you might be aware that uh, we are writing these uh, Nest.js with MongoDB, Nest.js with the Postgres, Nest.js Nest with the MySQL. And the simple pattern is we have the controller, we have the repository, we have the data layer, right? So controller is talking to the services, services is having uh, the, the repositories like you can see here. This is my controller and this controller is talking to the services and services has access to the data layer using the repositories either in the MySQL or in the MongoDB. So this is my simple controller. This controller is talking to this particular service we have. In the service we have injected our schema layer, I mean the data layer, which is the company model of the MongoDB, right? Now I'm able to access this data layer. So typically these are kind of uh, applications we are writing. These are the REST APIs working in the request and reply manner. We are able to get the data now. Data layer can be MongoDB, MySQL, Postgres, or any other database. This is a simple applications we were writing till now. But what about when you have to take action based on a particular event happened, based on a particular command, all these things we are going to talk about. So here we will also talk in the context of the CQRS, Command Query Responsibility Segregation. I have already covered a lot of content on the CQRS on the different design patterns. Here we can talk about CQRS in the context of the Nest.js, okay, there is a the Nest.js CQRS package is already available. And why I'm talking about this because Nest.js is gaining a lot of popularities. Now, if you just talk about all the relevant framework, Nest.js is I think fastest growing framework because it is providing out of the box lot of possibilities, lot of you can see the add-ons, lot of things out of the box and it is built on top of X, top of Express. So that is a good thing. If you are familiar with Express, moving to the Nest.js is not going to be a trouble for you. Okay, so now what we are going to talk about is a simple CQRS example, which is already written by me. Uh, I just I just wanted to go through this, this particular example. In the simple flow, we talk about, uh, we talk about controller services and the data layer. But in terms of the Nest CQRS pattern, we will talk about the command, command handler, query, query handler, and command handlers will, will be raising an event. Then there will be an event handler, right? So this is an event handler, and then there will be the sagas. Okay. Now this particular picture is from that conference only, but it is saying a lot many words. What does it mean by command? Okay. There is something, uh, uh, okay, let's say there is a create event. I'm creating a user. So creating a user in a simple request and reply flow, you can just talk, you can write a controller. Controller will talk to service. It will talk to the data layer and your complete flow is over. It's a request and reply. But what happens when you want to make it more reactive? Then you can't just use controller services to get your task done. Here we will be using the different terminologies from the CQRS, which is a command handler and a query handler. Command handler is something which will be able to do some stuff for you like create, update, delete, and not directly to the database, but by creating a particular event. So first of all, why there is a need of an event? It can also be used to store the set of events which are being acted upon a particular entity. Let's say create user. Okay. Uh, this is a create call, not a get call. So you will be raising a command. 
on the command bus okay we will talk about that in the terms of code but in using the nextjs cqrs you will be raising a command saying okay i am raising this command there is some command handler which will pick this user create command the user create command will create the user in the database now after creating this i will be raising an event and i can store in the database okay somebody has created a user now there can be another command update user then some uh, update user will be done and it will be new event and you will be storing this event in the database so indirectly these commands throwing uh, raising these particular events is helping you to build some kind of a store which is tracking okay somebody created it then user 2 updated it user 3 updated it user 3 has deleted this particular record and we will also talk about these sagas so this is the first picture where you are just raising a command because you want to do some change in the state and those command after changing the state will raise the appropriate event there will be an event handler that event handler will either store this particular event somewhere or it can also run some particular sequence of the code to notify the other party okay this particular i mean the state of the system has changed and there comes these sagas okay sagas are adding the reactivity to the whole pattern because all these events which are flowing through this channel are asynchronous set of events you can consider them as a event stream okay user created user updated user updated again user deleted again user created so these sagas can be plugged in to the events and these are sagas are the reactive pattern what they will do is okay i want to check if any particular user with the with the at the rate domain.com if this particular email user is coming i want to do some reactive stuff okay i want to actually do something else so what sagas are doing sagas are subscribing to these events and they are acting upon to that stream based on a particular criteria okay i want to do something if user is being created with this particular domain okay so this is command handler similarly there is a query handler and query handler can raise an event but queries are mostly read only so they target only read only data now this whole picture you can segregate into two parts command handler is writing to the write database query handler is reading through the read database and you can have some kind of a projection between your write database and read database and it becomes your cqrs pure uh, pattern right you are writing somewhere write database is projecting to the read database instead of command you are raising a query and query handlers are reading the data from the query handler this is the overall picture of the cqrs command query responsibility segregation because you are segregating the command and query now in the typical nest js cqrs we, we will be talking about single database but what you can do is you can have a two separate database one is for write only one is for read only your commands will be writing to the write database your queries will be reading from the read database okay i really like these slides uh, from that conference because this gives us a clear picture okay what this command what is this query handler and when we map this with the cqrs pattern cqrs is also the same thing it is segregating the commands and the queries and that is being done through two different data source we have a command handler we have a query handler indirectly we are also raising the events that can be stored and it can act as a event sourcing so cqrs plus event sourcing everything is happening through this okay now if we try to visualize this this is a particular model i mean this was the the typical design we are doing but when we talk about simple cqrs so i will just go through this example i have already covered the hangs on and all these things on cqrs so i will be making this uh, particular demo very light so what we are doing here is we have nest js cqrs okay you just install it and now you are done now what you need to do is based on our design pattern which we were talking what all things we have in the whole application we have commands we have queries we have events so so commands events and queries so there will be a command handler there will be query handler there will be event handler 
and on top of that you can also have a sagas which will be subscribing the events you are raising and they can act upon a particular criteria okay this type of event you subscribe so if you look into the source folder i mean uh, on the the next js uh, documentation they also have created an, a simple dragon example that also talks about the simple same scenario okay so here in the user module i have command handlers query handlers and event handlers three things and there is a sagas so what all new terms we are learning there is a command handler there is a query handler there is an event handler and there are sagas command handlers any right operations let's talk to the command handler command handler will, will raise the event will go to the event handler and then sagas will come into the picture query handler whenever you need to do the read operations go to the query handler query handler may or may not raise the event but they these are just generally used to read only data and return the response now the same code base where you are talking to the type orm to store the data into the database we can convert that into the cqrs architecture we just have a simple create user command and uh, create user event okay events will be created once the task has happened like user created user updated user deleted then we will be raising the event now these events can act as your event sourcing medium also because through these events you can store these set of events into your database table okay user has been created deleted updated this was the whole state of this particular entity record okay and sagas can act on these events to do some custom things okay let's talk about a uh, simple command so instead of writing the simple controller where you have the rest api mapping using get port post you will be calling a service with the help of cqrs nest yes this picture will be little different what we will be doing here is we will be writing the commands so we still have these controllers because th these are like the the entry point for our router but here instead of uh, talking to the service directly where we are doing this dot uh, we are injecting the service inside a controller and doing this dot service instance dot get data update data delete data here you see the highlighted code what we are doing here is we are actually executing something on the command bus by sending a particular command okay so this command bus is the internal implementation of nest cqrs you are doing command bus dot execute and you are sending the command and what is the command new user created command new created create user command this command will take care of user creation task and this is this can be async okay so your api response will be dependent on the response coming from this particular command create user command now somewhere there will be command handler okay if you see this particular class this is a simple class create user command and this command is being handled by your command handler you can see inside a command we have an implementation and we have a handler so this is your create user handler and this is subscribing to the create user command so this syntax don't get confused with the syntax because the syntax is kind of a simple here you are actually subscribing to the create user command everywhere in this file you can see command handler annotation it is looking for the create user command from the command bus and it is providing you the execute method so here whatever the payload you are getting from the controller pass it to here and let this code create user uh, against the repository pattern so here we have created a user and now we can raise a simple event and this event will go to the event handler here we are saying send event and what we are doing is we are sending to this event bus so we wrote this another function and this is using the event bus so there is a command bus event bus okay command bus event bus so here we are doing event bus dot publish and now there is a user created event so there is a event there is a implementation and there is a handler so this is a user created event and there is a handler this handler will handle this particular user created event okay so there is a simple handle method and this is subscribing this handler is subscribing to the user created event so whenever you are saying event bus dot uh, event bus dot 
uh, this particular event like uh, from this handler what we are doing is event bus dot publish right similarly what we were doing from the command bus command bus dot execute so similarly event bus dot publish because nextjs is managing this event bus internally and they are publishing this so they have the track okay if there is a user created event so it will take you to the handler of a user created event here we are now i can do something here and there are some sagas which are subscribing to the particular set of events so here you can see sagas are subscribing to the stream of the events and what i'm saying is give me the stream of events it's like rxjs which is enabling the reactivity of the streams here and we are just using this rx operators like delay map of type and i'm saying is from the events pipe give me the user created event and here i will be just doing the logging i will be just running some logic for particular this particular event so using sagas you can actually subscribing to the particular set of event here i'm subscribing the user created event similarly user updated event user deleted event you can write these custom sagas sagas are nothing but subscribing to the event stream and here i'm looking only for this particular event so off type delay and map these are the three operators which are running on top of this rx stream and giving me only this particular type of event you can write another saga which will be take tackling or uh, dealing with user deletion because once user is getting deleted you wanted to clean up some more tables do it you're using sagas or using events events can be purely used for storing those set of events okay this happened that happened can be act as a store sagas can act as a sagas are nothing but action over the reaction right some something has happened i wanted to do something else on top of that by subscribing to the set of events coming through the stream so this particular sample example is very basic here we are just raising this command handlers using the controllers so you simple see this user dot controller here we are doing command bus dot execute event bus dot publish that's it similarly there can be a query bus uh, i mean there is a query handler you will be writing okay this is sign up but there is a get users because you are doing a read only so there you will be using the instead of commands you will be using the queries and that will be just a read only things okay i am heavily using this and this is really very helpful if you are if you wanted to have the cqrs kind of pattern and event store in your project you can have this aggregate table and you can start storing uh, all these set of events user created updated deleted uh, or some particular action has is happening on the user table you can store all those set of events and the payload data so over the time you can also restore your aggregate from the events table okay so it is also enabling the event sourcing with the cqrs pattern here with a sing, within a single microservice with this implementation okay uh, thanks everyone so this is all i wanted to talk about i will also add uh, uh these screenshots i mean the link of that conference and you can also start uh the reactively uh in the next years okay uh thanks everyone